So you just won an Emmy and now you're here at the Grammys. How are you guys feeling? It's a big month. <laughs> it's been busy. <laughs> what was your reaction when you learned that you won the Emmy for the Weird Al movie? Um, blacked out. Blacked yeah. out pretty hard. Yeah, it was um, totally insane. We like, both heard the W come they, out. When they said weird. Yeah. And like the minute the W was sounded, we were like, oh my God, this actually happens. It was an unbelievable experience. What was the best part about collaborating with Al, Weird Al? Um, he is like the most chill, hands-off, creative collaborator. Like, very creative, but also will let you figure out how to solve the creative conundrum yourself. And so, he, I mean, he was on tour during a lot of the movie and would be like playing concerts. Like, the, like we would be start a Zoom meeting and he would be like, I gotta go play a concert. And then would come back at the end of the Zoom meeting having just played for a bunch of people, which is so cool. And like you know, listen to the music, gave such good feedback. Like his notes were kind of so specific in like, he's got such a good like sense of comedy. And so I, I thought he was a dream collaborator. Yeah. yeah, and he's also just like, he's an icon. Yeah, he's an American so, hero. Yeah, it's like we could, it was my first concert ever. So when I was eight years old, so it was just like, it was just an awesome, awesome experience. And it's right. even in more incredible for us that we're like on this bill with him at the Grammys, yeah. like that we're, we're sharing an album nomination with him. This is his him. turf, you yes. know, like. Yes. <laughs> what an amazing full circle moment. I love that. And yeah. speaking of icons, so many iconic artists here, ton here tonight, who's someone you'd love to run into on this red carpet? Um, I'm like a huge fan yeah. <laughs> of the banjo player, Bella Fleck, and I believe he's nominated and I would love to run into him, but I also think he might be on tour, so maybe not here. I thought you were going to say Taylor, but oh, yeah. I thought that was the always, easy answer. Always. I mean, I love the Olivia Rodrigo album, and I think I would nerd out if I if I saw her. Yeah, and I feel like there's uh, here there might be like some metal bands too that I really like. <laughs> <laughs> now you said Taylor. Are you two Swifties? Oh, big, big Swiftie, yeah. You saw it. She changed the... Profile picture today. Oh, dude, I, I, oh, I didn't see I'm not that. Oh. I'm not that caught up. What? What is it? People I, think breaking news. Oh, I'll give you the news. People think that Reputation Taylor's version. She might announce it today oh. when she wins an award. She would definitely win the media cycle with that, like big time. <laughs> now, are you I love Reputation? So yeah. that would be awesome. Amazing. Are you guys football fans at all? Yeah. Oh yeah. Who are we rooting this for? Is tough, because I'm a diehard Buffalo Bills fan. Um, so, you know, I have a lot of mixed feelings on Travis Kelsey, but amazing football player and great guy. <laughs> Who are we rooting for next weekend? The Chiefs, the 49ers, or? Absolutely the 49ers. Yeah, 49ers. <laughs> like, <laughs> Christian McCaffrey, I think, deserves a, yeah. uh, a Super Bowl. MVP, Bowling. to yeah. be honest. Yeah. 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 I'm a, a big Swifty, so I have to say Chiefs, okay. but we'll, we'll agree to disagree. But it's great, expanding the audience yeah. both NFL ways. Yeah. loves you. Yeah. <laughs> I have never cared this much about yeah. football in my exactly. life. Exactly, it's incredible. <laughs>